I feel okay. You're 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 okay.
Our precision cleanup and professional cleaning is just $88. Call Service Champions at 833-777-7777 or find us online at servicechampions.com. We're looking at your ride on the 134. All right, we're going to start with a little good news. So hang in there with me. Uh, the 134 now, Pasadena, right up to Lake Lake. Jennifer, we just passed over your head. It's in pretty good shape, really. East and West, there's no problem at all. Now, here's the big problem of the moment. This can make you late. Listen up. Driving through Long Beach, South 405, all lanes are shut down. South of Lakewood, overturned bridge loaded with fuel, it's going to be there forever. Alternatives, they're not easy, but here's what you got to do. East 91 to the South 605 to the South 405. Eastbound Willow, that still works, over to the South 605. Again, that will lead you to the South 405. And finally, coming out of Long Beach, Eastbound 7, that will get you directly to either the 405 or the 22. Northbound, all that grew up, but it is indeed a crawl. Everybody's looking from the 605. If you're in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com, just for our AFI in the sky. <laughs> Okay, my 2021 resolution was to lose 20 pounds. What? Only 30 to go. And now, the top five reasons to visit Morocco. Number five. Many all the time. With a little wall of big trees at sidelines, the college of pro, there's only one place to go. That's Morocco. Number four. Be the same live January 14th. Get your tickets now. Three. Party Tip Friday. All players at your table could win up to $100 in pro chips from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Now that's the party. And the number two. Cozy Gift Giveaway. Get two fluffy pillows when you earn five other points on your reward card. The temper of the 11th. And the number one reason. We don't mess with the recipes at Waldorfers. Mark, Danny, and Chef Paul won't stand for it. It's a family business. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Less than 90 minutes from wherever you are. Morongo. Good times. Neil U is my new favorite fitness app. And at 3 dollars a month, I can't believe everything I get. Real-time coaching, daily live workouts where I can see my friends, plus thousands of on-demand classes like strength, boot camp, yoga, and more. I'm obsessed with Neo Youth interactive workouts where my instructors can see and talk to me. And when you sign up for a 60-day free trial by January 31st, you'll pay just $3.99 a month. Sign up now at neoyouthfitness.com. N-E-O-U-Fitness.com. Staying healthy isn't easy. Walking diet, hitting the gym. Avoiding stress. Uh, a good night's uh, rest helps boost your overall health and wellness. And it couldn't be easier to sleep on the 364 bed. The adjusts and responds to both of you. The result? You wake up when you drink. Improving quality sleep is like cancer sleep. Don't miss on weekend specials. Save up to a thousand dollars on sleep on the 364 bed. Plus, that's a client. And client. That's a client for subject to credit approval. Any monthly payments required, be sure to do that. The parents. We've done everything we can to keep our kids safe, happy, and healthy during this pandemic. From finding the best face mask, to making sure their hands are clean. And now we have the best tool to help keep them even safer. The most important thing we can do is vaccinate our kids to protect them against COVID-19. Vaccines have been proven safe and effective for children five and up. Talk to your child's doctor. Go visit mychild.ca.gov to find the best friend you are. Brought by the California Department of Public Health. As the experts in transmission for over 50 years, there's nothing in Erica we haven't heard. Do you want to hit the ground? Push the bell. And nothing we can't fix. It's going away. Yeah, From transmission to break and everything in between. No credit, finance to repair at AMCO. Exclusions apply and epic components are under all. Now we come off the purchase fitting centers only. People who know go to AMCO. Double A, S A L T L. Looking for a good investment? Want to reduce uncertainty, financial risk, and hedge inflation? Here are eight reasons to consider NRIA's prime real estate development fund. Steady monthly cash flow payout with double-digit targeted returns. Solid, affordable, high-demand home and apartment assets backing. New construction built where housing is badly needed and demand booming. Substantial properties already built and selling right now supporting you. Short and long-term strategies with steady cash flow and appreciation anticipated. An industry leader with a 15-year track record of 3 million square feet built and a pipeline of $1.7 billion of new property in progress. 
Has you been since last time you received steady cash flow? Start your new diligence at nrio.net or call 800-800-1414. That's 800-800-1414. I'm Stephen Ronaldo, host of the Meat Eater Podcast and the Netflix original series Meat Eater. As a hunter and wildlife enthusiast, the question comes up, how can you justify killing and eating animals that you love and protect? Well, as part of what we wrangle with on the Meat Eater Podcast, along with Robert and all his other discussions about living an outdoor life in the modern world, we insist on sharing challenging opinions to inspire thoughts and action. So listen to the Meat Eater Podcast and the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. The state has extended our mask mandate. We all need to now wear a mask with our fun mask. The problem with this is most Americans are just going to wear their cat masks. I just right here wear a mask in... And not a drop gets on the Good morning, everyone. Uh, Handle here from the morning crew. Uh, Friday morning, January 7th. Uh, the FDA is warning uh, all of us about fake COVID tests. Of course, the standards are coming out. And it looks like uh, the Super Bowl Lama is still going to be played at football. Uh, so, all right, good news for us. I mean, not that you're ever going to get into the Super Bowl, or I'm going to ever get into the Super Bowl. And by the way, if you are able to buy a ticket, what is it, $4,000 in the nosebleed section uh, for the game? Uh, but uh, the uh, economic value of the Super Bowl to any city is astronomical, actually. Uh, the Supreme Court today is hearing oral arguments about the uh, vaccine mandate, uh, the presidential mandate. And uh, there are actually two cases that are being heard, and they are critically important uh, because actually the attack on those mandates is not that the president have the right to uh, in fact, go forward with it and mandate vaccines. It goes so beyond that because it is uh, the constitutionality of Congress. It's more about Congress than anything else, not uh, President Biden. And the question is, does Congress, is Congress exceeding its authority by allowing the president? And we're not talking just to mandate the vaccine allowing the executive branch uh, to do uh, everything that it does. And uh, just a quick list of what uh, executive branch uh, decisions are made in uh, the regulations. Okay? Uh, the local regulations affecting the state market, affecting the traffic safety, trafficking and use of firearms, environmental protection, workplace discrimination, agriculture, aviation, radio and TV, financial institutions, federal elections, gas and electricity, pricing and regulations, uh, maintenance and the building of highways, import export, uh, the drug, veterinary and human drugs, and even the licensing of uh, India Stockholm and nuclear power plant. And that is a ton uh, number of uh, issues that are involved. And here is the question. Congress is responsible for legislation. And in this case, it's the federal government, the executive branch, that in fact sets up the various cabinet positions and literally regulates everything in the United States. And the judges, and a couple of them have already said uh, that they believe in the concept, Congress doesn't have a right to do that under the Constitution. Which means, if they go that way, it is complete and total deregulation. Congress now has to step in and establish its own agency. And it doesn't have the expertise for the of the people. I mean, we've got a federal bureaucracy, uh, and not in the negative way. We're just talking about running the country. We have a federal bureaucracy that took uh, decades, if not uh, over a hundred years, to establish uh, the FDA, for example, and the control of uh, the food and drugs in this country. The executive branch. 
It's under Joe Biden. And the argument is that Congress exceeded its constitutional authority to even grant the president the right to do it all. They have to keep it to themselves. That's what the justices are going to hear. The vaccine part of it is the smallest, tiniest little part. And it can go one of a couple ways. The president does have the authority to do it uh, under Article 2. Uh, however, the other side of it is the president does not have the authority to do this. Uh, why? Uh, because of uh, the way it is written. Uh, Congress is given the not only right, but the duty under its legislative powers to basically to do what it wants. And this case is allowed, allowed year after year after year more presidential power. So the president probably has the greatest power, much more so than a president in the past. Uh, so uh, legislative powers are given to uh, Congress. Here's the problem. How do you define legislative power? Not the point. So you have executive power under Article 2. How's that defined? So we look, that's what makes the Constitution such an interesting document. It's either a living document, which means that out of the Constitution, uh, the laws uh, can actually be interpreted broadly. Uh, or, uh, as the originalists would say, and this is uh, Justice Scalia, you just look at the Constitution, that's it. And if it's not on the four corners of the case, that's a legal term that means all you can do is look at the document itself, the four corners, and within that document, uh, then you have a big, big issue. And of course, the Supreme Court, I know which way it's going to go. Uh, the establishment of Medicare, which was done uh, in establishing uh, Medicare as part of uh, literally the Occupational Safety and Health Act, because it deals with uh, the health of Americans. Uh, and that's under Title III, Title IX of the Social Security Act, which the President instituted. And we're talking about President Johnson in 1965 which establishes, of course, medical care for everybody over 65 and Social Security and all of that. I mean, it's going to be an interesting case. And be prepared if uh, the Supreme Court goes by way of the, uh, the, the decision or decides that Congress did not have the power to give the president the power to do what he does. And now it's because of the vaccine, not just bringing it up, the mandate. Man, you're going to see America change in a big, big way. One of uh, the sidebar stories about the pandemic, I like doing those because, as I said, we haven't even begun to understand how the pandemic uh, has, will affect us. That's coming up. KFI AM 640, and let's check in with uh, Jennifer Jones, please. Well, the first black man to win an Oscar has died. Sidney Poitier made history in 1964 for his starring role in Lilies of the Field. He also had memorable performances in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, In the Heat of the Night, and To Sir With Love, Poitier was 94. News is brought to you by Mike Diamond, the Smell Good Plumber. The LA County Fire Department is mourning the loss of one of its firefighters who was overcome while working to put out a house fire in Rancho Palos Verdes. Jonathan Flagler was pulled from a burning building by a fellow firefighter early yesterday morning. Flagler is survived by his wife and two teenage sons. Federal officials are keeping an eye on a cruise ship docked in San Francisco after a dozen vaccinated people on board tested positive for COVID-19. The CDC says the affected passengers are either asymptomatic or experiencing mild symptoms. San Francisco is asking cruise ship operators to test passengers who have not received their second COVID vaccine or booster shots before letting them come ashore. Police in Las Vegas have arrested a guy after they found a severed head in the back of a stolen truck. Police followed the man through a garage where they saw him get out and get into a second truck. During a search, they found a foul odor coming from a plastic bag. The bag contained a man's head. Cops also found coolers containing the rest of the victim's body parts. There are no classes in Chicago's public schools for the third day in a row. The Chicago Teachers Union wants remote learning until there's an agreement or the latest COVID-19 surge subsides. District leaders say remote instruction has damaged the well-being of the students. Two men in Nebraska have extended their family very quickly. 
They took home a DNA test and found they have 18 half-siblings they never knew about. The brothers and sisters came from the men's biological father, a sperm donor. They say the man had not previously known they were conceived that way. One of the guys said he was able to track down some of his new relatives who live in several states and has gotten responses back. And actress Jennifer Garner has been named Woman of the Year by Harvard University's Hasty Pudding Theatricals. She'll be honored next month for her career as well as for a record of a philanthropy and entrepreneurship. Also, this year's Man of the Year is Jason Bateman. We've got your drive on the 710. All right, good morning. Uh, really, most of our freeways, uh, L.A., Orange County, Midland, are in pretty good shape, but there's a few exceptions now. So, 710. For a change, it's uh, really in good shape now, leaving the harbor, uh, all the rest of East LA and Commerce, all that, even the southbound stuff looking good. But be heads up, we do have one enormous problem going through Long Beach. And especially if you're in the harbor now and you want to go uh, north 710 and then take the south 405, uh, south 405, all lanes are shut down south of Lakewood. It's overturn rig, it's a, it's a big deal. But again, all lanes are shut down. You need the East 91 over to the 605, Willow 7, they'll all get you to the 605, which will then take you to the South 405, and then know where you go. So, uh, quite a problem there. Northbound, there's a lot of spectators going. It's not quite as bad as it was a while ago, but still slow from the 605. Once you get past that, though, all the way up to LAX, things are looking good. Injured in an accident, this is Superwoman, superlawyer.com, Jeff Ball, AFI in the sky. The LA Kings were defeated by the Nashville Predators. The score, 4-2. Kings continue to hover right around the middle of the Pacific Division. The Anaheim Ducks-Detroit Red Wings match was over before it started. Postponed until Sunday after four more Anaheim players were added to the team's COVID protocols. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Do you have coins, jewelry, or precious metals and are looking to sell for top dollar? Sil DiGenova, CEO and owner of Tangible Investments, has become legendary by beating his so-called competitors' offers on these items by as much as 500%. I had a diamond ring that's been an heirloom in my family for many years, so I went to a local jewelry store and they offered me $600. I just wasn't comfortable. I took it down to Tangible Investments, and they offered me over $6,000. That store is absolutely awesome. Stories like these are why Tangible Investments has become America's top dealer in precious metals, jewelry, and collectibles, and why Sill has been featured on CNBC and quoted on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. Over the past 30 years, Tangible Investments has bought billions in collectibles. That's billions with a B. Right now, demand is through the roof. Sill encourages all his clients to shut the competition and then call in last. You'll be amazed at the difference. Guaranteed. Call now for an absolutely free professional no obligation appraisal 800-711-2800 800-711-2800 so cal weather from kfi partly cloudy for your friday with highs in the mid 50s to the upper 60s copy and paste that forecast for saturday and then a little bit warmer and more sunshine for sunday we leave local live from the kfi 24-hour newsroom i'm jennifer jones lee Checking things off of your DMV to-do list is now a lot faster because now the DMV has made it even easier to take care of tasks online. It all starts there. Maybe you need to get your vehicle registration renewed or transfer a title. You can get it all done online from the comfort of your couch. So if you have DMV tasks, save yourself some time and get them done online. DMV.ca.gov. Ready when you are. One eight seven seven cards for kids. K A R S cards for kids. Donate your car today with one eight seven seven cars for kids. We're a recognized 501c3 charity organization, so you'll receive a maximum tax deduction. What's more, you'll receive a vacation voucher of three days and two nights. Also on the web at carsforkids.com. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Now accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. At Court Furniture Outlet, you'll find new looks and new savings on everything you need to brighten up your home or make your workplace more comfortable. And the best part is that it's all in stock and ready for immediate delivery. So no waiting. Now during Court Furniture Outlet's New Year New Savings event, you'll save on a 
huge selection of upholstery, including new powered reclining sectionals, available in two colors, only $14.99. Italian leather sofas and sleepers, dining sets, bedroom sets, and mattresses, plus great deals on office furniture, like sit-to-stand desks from $3.99. And all year-end closeout deals have been extended. Come in today and discover why Court Furniture Outlet has been the secret destination of designers, home stagers, and business professionals for over 40 years. With locations in Glendale on Central, in Corona at the 91 and McKinley, and Fountain Valley on Euclid and the 405. Check them out on Yelp or go to courtfurnitureoutlet.com. That's T-O-R-T furnitureoutlet.com. AM640 handle here, a Friday, January 7th, and uh, I was told as it was, uh, the Supreme Court today is hearing two cases, oral arguments start today, of insane implications. I mean, literally, how America runs itself is at stake, and that is uh, the mandate, the vaccine mandate by the president, but it goes so beyond that. It's whether Congress has the right or the duty uh, to take back all of executive powers because it's quote legislation fascinating now we're talking about cabinet posts and regulation of stocks and uh, all kinds of um well for example nuclear plants and the stock market i mean all of that uh fascinating so we'll see which way the court goes now there is one field well uh let me tell you a story this was in the la times and it's about a lady named Christina Velasquez, or Velasquez. And uh, she is a housekeeper, and has been for 21 years. And she works at the Hilton Garden in, in Hollywood. And uh, what happened, uh, literally just uh, a few months ago, uh, and only a few months ago, and it continues to this day, is she goes in to clean the room, and it smells like dead animals, and blood on the bed sheet, bed sheet lots of blood and then maggots and hypodermic needles. So she reports it to her manager who says, just clean it up. That's what we need, just clean it up, don't ask questions. And she said, wow. And she's not alone with this problem. Uh, the pandemic has added a lot of stress to our jobs. But man, when it comes to hotel housekeepers, already an occupation with very high injury rates, you wouldn't think that housekeepers are one of the most injured professions that exist. And they are. And why? I mean, come on, replacing uh, sheets and replacing towels, how are you running a vacuum cleaner? They're moving mattresses. They're picking up mattresses to change the sheets. Do that all day long and see what it does to your back. So to reduce the risk of spreading the virus, uh, what's happening is that uh, the largest hotel chains, and also smaller ones, uh, have adopted policies that uh, make housekeeping, daily housekeeping optional. We're only going to come in and clean the place if you want us to. We'll only change the towels if you want us to. Otherwise, and you have to tell us. Otherwise, we're not cleaning anything. Well, guess what? The rooms are now more cluttered, more filthy than ever. Fewer workers facing shorter deadlines to get through the job throughout the day uh, because the staffing has not increased. For example, uh, the housekeepers, here's a stat that comes out of this story. 70% uh, of housekeepers have been rehired, which leads 30% that have not. Obviously, there's the math. The occupancy rate is at, at or more pre-pandemic levels when there were 30% more housekeepers. And it's simply the hotel chains, because of what everybody went through, businesses, particularly in the leisure industry, what they went through is uh, they figured they got to make up the money someplace because uh, a lot of uh, hotels just closed down. They just shut down. They couldn't take it. Now, the big chains were doing fine, and uh, the 
hotels, companies that own them, who have deep pockets, are doing okay. Uh, but there are a lot of mom and poppers out there. So what happens? A housekeeper comes in, and there's the fast food wrappers and dirty towels and take out food containers, spill drinks on the floor, and in uh, more than one case, and this is more common than uh, you would expect, are feces smeared on bathroom walls. Now, I don't know why anybody does that. Uh, is it a statement against society? Is it some kind of a TikTok challenge? Uh, but can you imagine a housekeeper walking into that and dealing with it? And what do you think housekeepers get paid? Well, if you're in California, you get paid 15 bucks an hour. And here's what else is going on. This guy named Keith, uh, Kirk Peterson, who is president of the union that represents 32,000 uh, hospitality airport workers. And what he says that fewer housekeepers uh, are now required to clean the same number of rooms and on the same deadlines as before. For example, in this story, uh, the last place is supposed to clean 14 rooms a day. There are days when she only is able to clean three or four because it's such a god-awful mess in those rooms. And uh, at least she isn't fired. And why is that? Uh, because there aren't too many people that are willing to take housekeeping jobs because it has become a dangerous job as well as a disgusting uh, job. So uh, what does a housekeeper do for those uh, asking uh, or being asked to clean 14 rooms? And this is one day that uh, the LA Times followed this one. Changing the bedding, and this is lifting up mattresses to remove sheets as well as putting new sheets on, cleaning, disinfecting the bathroom, uh, dusting, replacing the towels, vacuuming the carpet, mopping the tile and hardwood floors, and if you look at the math, including a 30-minute lunch for break, she gets uh, 32 minutes of time per room. So on this day, it took her 45 minutes to clean the first room. Piles of towels and uh, littered the bathroom, trash thrown around the room. Uh, and she was already behind schedule. Second room, cleaner, because uh, they do what I do at the hotel. I have to keep it fairly clean. And I also tip the housekeeper, too, who leaves the money. And here's the tip. You leave the money on the uh, bed sheet or on the pillow, and you do it every day. Because if you leave it at the end of the day and a shift has changed, then you've left a pile of money with only, so, someone who's only been there a quarter of the time. So it's a daily thing, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, so the third room uh, took almost two hours to complete cleaning. The fourth room took an hour. Remember, she has 32 minutes. And the pressure is unbelievable. This is the story of the COVID where people are, and I would argue, affected the most other than people who lost their jobs. But... It's, uh, this is a rough, rough business. It's gotten a lot rougher. And uh, it, you normally don't think of housekeepers. I mean, they're sort of back of mind. All you do is walk in the room and it's clean. Uh, man, these, I, I feel terrible for these people. Rough, dangerous, horrific job. Just wanted to share a COVID story with you on that one. Uh, there is a lawsuit going on by a cop against the department and against the company that sells guns at the academy. And this is a very strange lawsuit. And uh, this is one where it's not your, it, it is not your normal lawsuit. Oh police. This is not police misconduct, excessive force. It's just a weird one. And I'll share that story with you when we come back. This is KFI AM640, and let's check in with Jennifer Jones. California's nonprofits that took part in or helped in last year's insurrection at the U.S. Capitol could lose their tax exempt status because of a new bill it was introduced yesterday and was to suspend tax breaks for those who fundraised or sent money to groups involved in the attack. 
The three white men convicted of killing Ahmaud Arbery are being sentenced in Georgia. Right here, two black men were shot in February 2020, and the LA City Council will consider installing a gate to temporarily close the historic beach oh, oh. park in Hollywood Hills until repairs are made. We've got your drive with DKFI in the sky in the one ten next. Okay, the show of coming on resolution is to be 20 pounds. What? Only 30 to go. And now, the top five reasons to visit Morocco. Number five. Money off the time. You can hear a lot of these things. There's only one place to go. That's Morocco. Number four. Day of Faith Live, January 14th. Get the tickets now. Three. Money Pit Friday. All players at your table can win up to $100 in partnership from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Now that's the party. And the number two. Attention, Christers. Those awesome finds you get at Goodwill are even awesomer than you realize. Because as a nonprofit, Goodwill uses your purchases to fund job training and more in our neighborhood. Learn more at Goodwill.org. Sponsored by the Ad Council. Good now weather from KFI, partly cloudy today with highs from the mid-50s to the upper 60s. This report is brought to you by the Ash Council. From the Southern California Toyota dealers, traffic center, let's go places. We're taking the 110. Yes, indeed, most of the base is covered in marine layer now. But the northbound 110, the Harbor Freeway section of the 110, if you will, from the 105, South LA, all that, it's really not all that bad. There's not any as usual. I was talking about Florence and downtown Los Angeles, but I think it'll be okay. North one has a few okay. problems. Now. Northbound before the floor level, I'm going to try outside the uh, city hall. Got a lane block there. It's really slowing down that North 101, West 10 merge, going towards the floor level. But after that, you'll be okay. But then another heads up as you head towards the Coinga Pass. Uh, North 101. <laughs> A whole bunch of stuff on that ramp. That's a little slow getting through. But definitely the top of the morning if you've just done this. We're going through all these South 405. Oh, I see. The truck down south of Lakewood. Overturned Reg is the mess. Eastbound 91, Eastbound Willow, Eastbound 7. To any of those will get you over towards the 605 and let you hook up with the South 405 in towards Orange County. Much better deal. Head to the international. This is Superwoman, Superlawyer.com. Jeff Fox, KFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by iAccidentLawyer.com. Accident Lawyer. 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 You may be experiencing neuropathy. Neuropathy is caused by damage to nerves, and it impacts the lives of millions of Americans. If you are suffering from neuropathy and have been prescribed to medication like Lyrica, Neurontin, or Gapapentin, then you may have an alternative. Trial team doctors are using a cutting-edge treatment to slow and often reverse the disease without addictive medication. If you're tired of living in pain, then call 855 4 get well that's 855, the number 4, get well. There's no surgery or prescription drugs. That's no. so wait to get relief. Call 855, the number 4, get well. That's 855, 4, get well. The first 25 callers will receive a full exam and in their consultation absolutely free. As COVID-19 vaccination efforts continue across the country, many people wonder if the vaccines are effective against the Omicron variant. We asked Dr. Francis Collins, director of the National Institutes of Health, how booster shots can protect us. The booster not only increases the quantity of antibodies, but also their quality, that they are really much broader in their ability to bind to variants than the original vaccine might have provided. There's all kinds of reasons to do this to protect yourself. And that's really good news, the fact that the booster has that property. Based on what we've seen with all the other variants, the booster should be really valuable. So go and get one. 
That was Dr. Francis Collins, director of the National Institutes of Health. iHeart Radio will continue to keep you informed with the latest coronavirus news. For continuous updates and to find a COVID-19 vaccine near you, check out vaccines.gov. Do you need a new water heater? Water heaters only. With over 53 years in business, offers low prices, quality, same-day service, and 0% deferred interest financing. Visit waterheatersonly.com. That's waterheatersonly.com. Terms and conditions apply. With feedback and questions, it says, Thank you to worry about how health can help with free COVID-19 emotional support. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at childhope.org today. Look, staying healthy isn't easy. Watching diet, hitting the gym, avoiding stress. But a good night's rest helps boost your overall health and wellness. And it couldn't be easier. The number 364 bed effortlessly adjusts in response to both of these. The result? You wake up ready for anything. Improving quality sleep is like going to sleep. Don't miss our weekend special. Save up to $1,000 on three number 360 small cap. Plus special finance. Ends Monday. Special finance is subject to credit approval. Minimum monthly payments required. See store for details. We've weathered this pandemic by doing our part to protect each other. So let's stick to what's proven to keep us safer from COVID-19 and its variants. Like masking up in public indoor settings, getting tested before and after traveling and gathering, and staying home if you feel sick. Let's keep our immunity strong. Visit myturn.ca.gov or call 833-422-4255 to find a vaccine or booster near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. I don't think they're stupid. No. I think they know if they write it ambiguously, then yeah, they got 50 50 shots for it. And that's they get in their way and releasing almost everybody, which is ultimately what they want. There's a lot of dangerous people left in these prisons, so they're going to have to be creative and probably basically lie to the voters. Johnny Crow to get an opposition pass to release more of them. We gave it to on KFI. Oh, sir. Yeah, it is a uh, Friday morning, January uh, 7th, and uh, it's uh, usually Friday we have uh, a little bit of fun. So I've got uh, a couple of fun topics that we're going to, or I'm going to share with you. Uh, and one of them is uh, about hobbies, the history of hobbies. And there is a history and how it has changed over the years here in the United States. Uh, I found this fascinating. And then uh, Foodie Friday comes aboard uh, with meals today at 9.30. That's usually our uh, Friday lineup. I want to go through a lawsuit. This is really interesting. This is uh, a, uh, a captain at uh, the LAPD who is suing the LAPD. And it's not a discrimination suit per se. It's not your usual lawsuit. But it's unusual enough that I wanted to share it with you. Uh, because uh, depending on which way it goes, uh, this may very well become uh, fairly big news. Uh, Captain Jonathan Tom, commanding officer of the West LA Division of LAPD, has filed a lawsuit with his wife, who is a retired uh, LAPD officer, uh, and she raises the kids. And he argues that the LAPD, uh, in addition to a non profit, which I'll explain in a minute, uh, that uh, they ruined his personal and professional reputation. Uh, his career prospects are now dimmed. Uh, investigators ignore evidence that he was a victim of uh, this crime and not a suspect. And he says they pursued him as a suspect. And of course, uh, the normal uh, humiliation, emotional distress, substantial financial oh, no, no. losses without justification, uh, nightmares, and how to be able to get in the elevator again, I mean, all of that. And it has to do with a bunch of cases brought by the police right. department. And uh, it was brought by uh, officers of the police department say they were damaged by a gun scandal and the way the department investigated it. So what's it about? Well, uh, first of all, all of these cases have been consolidated because the clients are all the same. And the uh, city has to figure, okay, how much are we going to pay this if we lose? They're claiming the city that uh, the entire blame rests with uh, an entity called the LA Police Revolver and Service Center. It's a non-profit that has a gun store at the academy. And the city has maintained this relationship for more than 85 years. So, 
November 29, 2021, a set of 44 uh, high lines from the bench.